Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Insolvent Scout Selections here for Wednesday, August 3rd. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap of what happened yesterday. We had a nice winner in the WNBA with the Liberty minus 3.5 at minus 114 on FanDuel. Said in the video that 3.5 was not going to stand for that long, and it did not. Line closed at, I believe, 5.5. And it really was not close. The Liberty were up double digits at the half and won the game by 29 points. The Sparks have completely quit on the season, and they looked like it in the second half. Nice and easy. Look for another winner here on Wednesday. And for today's play of the day, we're going to go back to the WNBA. But we're going to switch things up a bit. We're going to be looking at two games. We're going to be taking a two-pick parlay. And it just so happens that the same two teams that we talked about for yesterday's matchup play again. And we're going to be taking the Liberty once again, but this time on the money line. And we're going to parlay that with the Dream on the money line, and that two-pick pays out at minus 125 on DraftKings. Time recording of 1.15 a.m. Eastern time. Coverton's why I like the Liberty on the money line in this matchup. I'll get into the Dream stuff in a second. But a lot of it's going to sound pretty much the exact same as yesterday because the Liberty app just completely dominated the game. There's really no other way around it. The Sparks have lost each of their last four games by at least seven points. Meanwhile, the Liberty have won three of their last four games. Liberty just killed this team by 29 points at home on Tuesday. And the Sparks, I mentioned yesterday, are involved with a lot of distractions. Liz Cambridge being released, switching coaches midway through the season. The Sparks have looked lifeless, and I expect them to look lifeless once again in this road game on Wednesday. So I'm going to go with the Liberty to get the job done at home once again. I mentioned yesterday's video how the Sparks have the worst three-point defense in the league and how the Liberty are a very good three-point shooting team. And that was exactly what happened. In the Tuesday matchup, the Liberty shot lights out from three. The Sparks gave up 100-plus points. They can't get many stops. I expect the Liberty to get the job done once again here in this spot for the first leg of this parlay. And for the second leg, it's going to be the dream on the money line taking on the Fever. Uh, the Fever arguably the worst team of all time. Uh, they have one of the worst records in league history. They've lost 14 straight games. They have not won a road game since June 12th. The Fever also ranked dead last in offensive rating and defensive rating, so they're bad at everything. Now, the reason why I didn't take the Dream on the spread is because the Dream are dealing with several injuries to some key pieces. Now, I still think that the Dream are a more talented team than the Fever, even with those pieces being out. But I was a little bit hesitant based on the way that they played recently of laying the nine. But I do think they'll get the job done at home when it comes to actually winning the game. The Fever should not win a game for the rest of the season. And the Dream are still fighting for the final playoff spot in the WNBA. So they're motivated. They're at home against a team that's already been eliminated from playoff contention and a team that's lost 14 straight games. And a reminder that the Fever are still missing their best player for the rest of the season. Kelsey Mitchell still out with the foot injury. So with all that being considered, I think the Dream might not cover this game. But I do think they will win at the end of 40 minutes. So once again, the two-pick parlay is going to be based on fading two teams that have been disastrous recently, the Sparks and the Fever. So we're going to take the Liberty on the money line and parlay that with the Dream on the money line. And that two-pick pays out at minus 125 on DraftKings. Other than that, though, that's been this episode of Scott Selections. Bye, everyone.